As a lighting ceremony, now just two weeks away. The Kansas City tradition continuing on Thanksgiving night this year. And as I found out today, workers are racing to get the lights ready. So we're going up. A bird's eye view. It's pretty fun. I mean, when else do you get to do this? Of a Kansas City tradition, the hanging of the plaza lights. So how are the lights actually stuck to the building? This is just an epoxy on, on these little buttons here. Capital Electric worker Matt Deerdorf checks every bulb and checks them twice. All it takes is a lot of time. <laughs> Making sure every bulb will light on Thanksgiving night. So you can test them during the day and nobody knows. Yep, pretty much. Workers began their work on the lights in August and will finish just in time for the lighting ceremony. I'm a nervous wreck. And what about after? After, when they come on, uh, I'm pretty happy. The 280,000 bulbs that make up the plaza lights would stretch 80 miles from end to end. It just started with a strain of lights over a doorway. So it's just, we've come a long way. Now, in its 86th year, the KCPNL Plaza Light Ceremony attracts thousands of spectators. It's one of those free events that the families can do. It's become a great tradition. They meet, they have their dinner with their family, they walk down to the plaza. It's so accessible. It wouldn't happen without workers like Matt reaching the top of Time Tower. How high are we? This tower is about 110 feet. To make sure every light is ready before time runs out. Voila. You just do that a bunch of times. Thousands of times, uh, to be sure. Plaza officials assure us the pending sale of the plaza will not have an impact on this year's ceremony. You can watch the plaza lighting ceremony live right here on your 41 Action News station on Thanksgiving night. Well, typically, a